we're going to make two classes here. So the first class, okay, so we have over here make a new class. Okay, so the first class, let's call it, I usually call this uh, board and something board. So, that, so it's called board movement or move. And then, and then I'm going to put here move. Or let's call it player. Okay, so we have player and board move. Board move is going to actually be the board you put on the screen. Now this is where you're going to have the main method. So public static void main string args. And up above I let me put my brackets in. What I've got to put up here is up here extends J panel. Once we do that, we import this. There we go. We'll just come back later. Okay, so now to build the frame of the J frame, that's the frame, the outline of what we're going to do. New J frame. And what are we going to stick inside the J-Frame? We're actually going to stick this board that we're making into it. So you call this class board move and you make an object of it. B1 equals new board move. Okay, now import J-Frame. Now let's see if we can import the J-Panel. There we go. Okay, now to build the screen. Okay, so remember it's frame.add the object this class in there so we add that in frame dot set size so uh, 800 by 800 width by height uh, frame dot set defaults close j frame dot exit on close after we do that let's do frame dot set visible to true and I've been forgetting to do this inside the J-frame here. Let's just do, here's the title will set, show up at the top of the, uh, the graphical user interface. So we'll say the board of movement. And then down here, let's get it. I'm going to put this in, although it's not ready yet. While true, we're going to have it repainting all the time. And the things that we're going to have repaint in here, so we would do frame dot repaint. Um, so that's going to repaint the screen now, although we don't have that method yet. We'll make a paint method in a second. Frame dot, uh, sorry, next one, thread dot sleep. And this will put it to sleep for so many seconds. So I'll go 100 milliseconds. And then we're going to have to add in uh, the declaration throws interrupted in thick exception. Okay, so now let's make the paint method. So public void paint graphics G. Let me close that method up so I can see you all. We import the graphics class. Now once we do that, uh, graphics 2D G2 equals graphics 2D and then parentheses G. So casting the G as graphics 2D so we can get into some more new features. So now to the point of today's lessons. Let's build a whole entire background, the screen being red. So uh, G2 dot set color, set it to red, and then we're gonna have some just people move around on the screen. And this will be the point of today's lesson here color dot red. How do we effectively make a bunch of people moving on the screen without really writing lots of code with that? And this will be the idea of objects. So so let's fill this g2 dot set, uh, fill rectangle. We're going to fill a rectangle. We're going to go 0, 0, 800, by 800 and this sets up the background I want to draw one bad guy on here so this will be the enemy 
g set color and we'll set the enemy's color color dot uh, let's go blue so we set the enemy's color to blue and we'll do g2 dot fill rectangle we'll put it on the screen let's put it on somewhere in the middle of the screen 20 uh, 200 by 400 with a width of 20 by 20 and this will make the first board so this is the board this is where the game will be played as it slowly pops up and there we go we have a red board with a blue enemy moving now the enemy doesn't move yet we're going to make the movement happen in a second and that's where the idea of objects are going to come in so i'm going to pause the video here start a second one in a second 